is our first time in cooking with Mrs. Ng that I am going to show you guys how to make eggs in a basket. So always, of course, have your hair up so we don't have hair in our food. We always put our aprons on. I don't have my Mrs. Ng apron. Of course, it's at school. And then we're always going to wash our hands, obviously, for 20 seconds. You guys know about that. So now, uh, today's recipe, I am actually going to make something called eggs in a basket. It's a family favorite. Uh, it, it's also called bird, um, birds in a nest or hole in one. It's, there's a lot of different uh, names for it. But basically all you're gonna do is take bread. My kids like the honey wheat one. Butter, you can use the stick of butter, but the stick of butter is gonna be harder because it's in the refrigerator. This is more um, easily spread onto the bread. Eggs our shredded cheese, and the salt and pepper is pretty much all you need. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna get my skillet out. And then I'm going to get a plate and I'm going to bread the two sides, butter the two sides of my bread. If you guys wanted to, you could. whole wheat, but my kids like the honey wheat better. Okay, so you bread one side, butter one side of on the bread. Butter the other side. And then at this point, I'm just going to make one for our example. At this point, you just bread it on a plate. You never want to just put it directly on the countertop. And then you can actually, if you have a heart-shaped um, or a different shaped cookie cutter, you, or you could actually use that to remove the center part of the bread. I'll show you guys that because it's hard to see. So all I did was make made a box. You could make a circle if you wanted to and took out that buttered piece of bread front and back and put it to the side. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start my skillet. Now I have gas, so you're probably gonna to wanna to actually um, check if you have gas or electric. The gas, you have to ignite it and make sure that that blue light actually turns on so you're not having gas poured into that room. Okay, I like to cover up things as I go. Now because I put butter on this, there's really absolutely no reason for you to have to um, put butter onto the skillet because it already has butter. Let me move that closer so you guys can see that. I think that's better than my head's chopped off. Okay, I'm getting better at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to give you guys a challenge each um, couple days or each week for those that want to do it, just to have a chance to practice some of the skills you've learned because I'm gonna miss seeing you guys in class. And I know your favorite part of that is probably the cooking. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of shredded cheese on top of that extra piece, the little square. Let me see if I can lift up my, oops. All right, you see that? I just did that. And then I'm going to, so if you, I'm gonna crack an egg right into the center. Now, some people don't like the egg with the, um, to be runny. So what you can do, is scramble it beforehand in a bowl. So I just knock it on the side. And if you're not comfortable with cutting, um, cracking an egg open, you can always crack it into a custard cup or small bowl first, and then go ahead and put it there so you don't get the egg shot. Now I've been washing my hands, but I'm not gonna necessarily wash them for 20 seconds, but I'm gonna get that egg white off. And I did bring out my paper towel. For you guys to see that, even though usually I just have a towel here, the specific for the hands, and then a different towel for the dishes. This is already gonna be going in the trash, so that's okay. I'll put it there. Salt, 
I use my salt and pepper shaker for my table just because the other ones will uh, come out too fast. This one, it's such big holes that it comes out really fast. So I just choose to use my table salt. Now, I know because you guys know that I'm Egyptian, some of the Egyptian um, spices is our mint. So my family actually likes to have mint in their eggs, not parsley, but mint. I'm gonna flip over the items. You can see that they're becoming golden. So maybe I'll try to show you guys this too. I'm getting used to this, so sorry if the video is not great right now. It'll get better. So see how it's already it's already um, cooked some. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. See how it's golden brown? I just flipped that with my pancake turner. And then we'll try to get that back. Okay, so we're just gonna let it cook some more. So yeah, I scramble it sometimes and I'll put mint in it salt and pepper and then it will be all ready to go now because i use this for the eggshell i'm going to go ahead and throw that trash away put it in the sink and i'm going to get a different plate for my then it wouldn't when it looks like it's almost done i'm just going to go ahead and take it out the pan and the, and the egg yolk is going to be it is going to be runny still, and that's okay. Getting a little stuck on my pan. Sometimes when the pan gets a little older, it gets stuck, and that's okay. So if you, at this point, don't like it, the egg yolk egg to be runny, you can go ahead and make and scramble it ahead of time. So the end product looks like this. Sometimes my, my own children love this part with the cheese so much that we just make a whole piece of bread with the um, butter on both sides, like a, like a grilled cheese, and then we just cut it into quarters and then they can have it that way. All right, so there's a simple breakfast, healthier um, than eating cereal every morning. It's got, it has your protein, your nutrients, um, and it's quick and easy. If you choose to make that, please send me an email, let me know, or you can make a video yourself. All right, until next time, this is signing off, Mrs. Ng, signing off with um, easy breakfast in cooking with Mrs. Ng. See you.